Hi, I'm Sarah Kyo. I'm a dietitian with the Celiac Society and today we are looking at the topic of celiac disease in women and especially in relation to periods. So most people with celiac disease will have some struggle with iron. This is often the reason a lot of people are diagnosed. Um, once diagnosed and on the strict gluten-free diet, iron levels should come back up. But we will have lots of people who still struggle and that's one of the reasons why you do need to have your iron tested every year to make sure everything is okay. So we will naturally store up to about three grams of iron in our bodies at any one time. But this cycles through because we will lose a certain amount of iron every day through our skin. We lose a little bit through just our digestive system lining coming out. So we need to be replacing this. And when we look at women in general in Ireland, about 48% of women in Ireland don't eat enough iron, but this jumps to 79% of teenage girls. And this is particularly important because teenage girls need iron for growth. And this is at the same time that they are starting to have periods. So they can suddenly have more iron losses at a time when actually their body really needs to be topping up. So where do we go to get iron? Very important to make sure there's plenty of iron coming in through food. So foods like red meat are really good sources, so things like beef and lamb. You're looking at things like chicken, but as we've said several times, you've got to be looking at chicken legs for iron. There isn't a huge amount of iron in chicken breast. Then you're looking at things like eggs, um, chickpeas, beans, lentils are all really good sources. When it comes to green vegetables, you're looking at spinach, kale, and then the sort of dark green outer leaves of cabbage. If someone is eating all of that and still struggling a little bit with iron, it is time to think about a supplement. But it's important not to take a supplement until you've had a blood test to show that you're low in iron. So always just get checked out. And if you do, then a course of a supplement can be really helpful in bringing iron levels back up. It's also worth thinking about some foods that will boost iron absorption. So vitamin C, so things like fruit juice and fruit, really do help you to absorb iron from your food. But also keep an eye on some of the things that might block it. So we often talk about tea and coffee and drinks like that that might reduce the amount of iron you absorb doesn't mean you need to avoid them um, once you're staying under four or five cups of tea a day you're probably going to be okay but if you have plenty of vitamin C it tends to overcome some of the loss that you might get from the foods that can block it so important to remember that we get two to three iron rich foods in every day plenty of vitamin C and if you are celiac make sure you're getting regularly checked so that you know your iron levels are safe and healthy for more information, contact the Celiac Society at www.celiac.ie.